Welcome all wine lovers, we are tasting port in the stylish Valence Brooklyn Square. Janelle, I just want to quickly run through the difference between sherry and port. Port is from Portugal and is always sweet and sherry is from Spain in, and is a drier wine. Um, they're both fortified um, by adding wine spirits to increase the alcohol. Now, I know that we don't use port on our labels anymore. Can you tell us why? Yes, that's correct. Uh, since the 2012, January 2012, the European Union have for a long time been putting pressure on us to drop the word port because port comes from Portugal. But we have prepared the market and um, since 2007 we have been putting Cape in front of the word or the style of ports. For instance, Cape Ruby, Cape Tawny, Cape Vintage, like that. So okay. now we just drop the word port so people... And then um, I see that our lineup, all four of them are from Carlet Store which is known as the capital, what, port capital of, of South Africa. A lot of our award-winning ports and our five-star ports come from this region. It's very similar to the Douro Valley. It's nice and extremely hot there, very cold in winter. And the port varieties fare very well in this region. But please remember that they do make port all over South Africa and very good port great qualities in Stellenbosch, Constantia, Paul, you name it, Ribia, Castile. They are beautiful ports throughout our country, except these are exceptional. They are. And these are from Carlin Store. So let's start tasting these. Okay, so let's start with the first one. First Hill. That's correct. That's Axial. This is from the Mike Nebe's wine. This is an unusual Cape White. Um, Lynn, please remember that port is a wine that everybody knows but it's the least understood wine in the world. And the reason for that is they're normally very happy just to buy a bottle of port. And they must understand that we make several styles of port. And yes. these wines, I, I normally call them wines, should be enjoyed in, with different food, not just yes. at the end of the meal, like we've grown up to believe port belongs at the end of the and meal. And it's important to find the style that you really like, because Absolutely. everyone has different tastes. Yeah. If you look okay. at this beautiful amber color, this, the reason for this is um, the aging. Um, the, the mic, uh, this, of course, our Cape Whites are made um, are predominantly from Chenin Blanc grapes. And this has gone through a Solera aging system. That means when you're marrying the older port with the younger one coming through the Solera barrels or the port barrels uh, from the oldest vintage 2003. And it's a drier style. I know all ports have sugar, but this is definitely a drier style with approximately 64 grams residual sugar. Okay, and it's, it's it has like quite a nutty Yeah, and you taste chill them. You must chill them. And, and it's beautiful with soups. Um, you can use it with anything. And I think it's a midday drink as well. Um, chilled. Okay, there you go. great. Mmm. Considered a little bit dry on the port style, okay. but very nice also to digest your food. The second one is the most popular line. This is Boerplas Cape Ruby. Now, this is that brings me to the varieties that we use. The classic varieties, Turiga Nacional, Tinta Barocca mm. and Chazal. It's much sweeter. 18 months age. It's very important to understand how the ports are kept. So this is 18 months. It's got a nice, beautiful fruity color. I deal with that mm. spicy prego. Why is it so much sweeter than the first one, the white cake Yeah, white? this is about 87 grams sugar. Rubies do. They, they have a higher sugar content. Because and then of the red grape. are the, the sweetest and then your reserves also. Sugar makes them last. You must remember these wines can last. Yes. And another thing, rule of thumb, you mentioned sherry. Ports have got, of all the fortified wines, the highest level of sugar. Oh, at, at, least, <laughs> at least alcohol. Okay. So it must be close to 20% alcohol. This is 20, yeah, so that's 17, Way higher 19. than a normal wine. Oh, so yes. this should be sipped as a dessert oh, wine. Yeah, yeah. It's not, Immediately a, in it's not something weather. that we're drinking up. Yeah, okay. but it's good. And then the third one, if you look down, this is Tawny. Now, remember, when this probably went into the, the barrels, it was this color. Oh, wow. So, yes. Now, this red so wine smooth. lose its color with age, also the tannins. So that is your reserve. Now, this has spent an average of eight to nine years in barrel. Yes, by port law, uh, if you produce a tawny, and that's why not a lot of people do, um, you must have at a minimum of seven years aging in barrel. So a lot of ports are aged in barrel and others we've got to age in bottle like the last one. So if you go back, look at this. This is where we get the, the designation or the styles from, Cape White. Cape Ruby color, Ruby Cape color, white yes. color, Ruby color, and then tawny. tawny. And this comes from the age. And if you sip it, you're quite right. It's got it a nutty a smoother, nose. It has a smoother mouthfeel to it. Absolutely, because the tannins are now 
softer. Fru um, that happens with aging of red wines. The tannin softer, the color is lost, and then you get the smooth silk on your palate. This is beautiful even with desserts because of yes. its sweetness that you taste. Yes, I love this wonderful. with spicy foods. We've got tonight the duck breast here with watercress, a nice berry beetroot sauce with that, and some watercress. So this will go very beautiful with food. Yes. Mm. Okay, then our last one is our the That's Crohn's the Reserve. One. This is the great one. This is um, what um, we will buy to age. Now, a reserve or a vintage are declared. We don't necessarily make them. We only select the best years and then we'll say this will become my vintage reserve. It has to come out of the wine barrels before two, two years. So 24 months max. So by 18 months, the Crohn's, these are uh, the Tawny's and the vintage reserves both from the Kranz, also Carla's store, by yes. both five stars. And they they will, uh, Butsnell will probably declare it at the age when they have 18 months in barrel and say this will be my reserve. So then it will be drawn out of the barrel straight into bottle. They are not, they are not filtered, where all the others are filtered. Their future lies in the bottle. They are meant to mature a minimum of 20 years in this bottle. Hence the fact that these bottles are so dark. Yes. These are true occasion wines. They are meant to be opened at a 21st or a 25th anniversary of a wedding. But more as a dessert like wine. These are strong, opulent, powerful wines and they will match a nice cigar for the gentleman and a nice piece of gorgonzola or blue cheese or stilton for the ladies. This is what you normally will enjoy at the end of the meal. Well, I can't wait to taste this wonderful bias by Lucky Red Company. So let's go join our guests. Cheers. Ja, ons sal definitief weerkom nou die geleentheid toe en um, ons het definitief baie geleer van ons so. En die um, gorgonzola cheesecake. Dit is amazing. Oh. Ons het al geleerd, ons het eigenlijk iets geleerd van hom en definitief een paar wijne wat ons gaan opvolg by die huis. Zeker. En ek denk ons het baie geleer, ons uh, gaan nou met ander oor na poort kyk. Ons weet nou baie meer van poorta. Ons gaan dit nou net drink om dronk te word nie, ons gaan dit nou drink om dit te geniet. En ons gaan ook weet om het saam met of een te doen of um, kaas koop. Thank you Brooklyn Mall for a lovely evening tasting port. Cheers!